as uh, my good wakili has said we are people who obey the law we are law abiding citizens of this republic and we are here attending court on trumped up charges these police and let me not say i want to say william ruto's police have all the time to tafuta crime on innocent people but 71 young men and women died on the streets i've not seen one person brought to court to account for those deaths there are people who are found in a quarry young women we are told there was a man who escaped from prison we have never seen anybody brought to this court and charged with those crimes. We have seen friends like Bob Jagge and the Long Torn Twins and several other names that have now been made public that have been abducted. Bob Jagge was abducted after seeing me in Kamukunji police station where I was actually illegally taken. And we, this is what, four, five weeks? Five weeks now. Five weeks. We have yet to know where he is. And the long term twins, we pray for their families. The people who are committing these crimes are not before these courts. They are not charged. This is what you call embedded impunity. And that impunity is being perpetuated by one William Samoy Ruto, who has decided the Constitution is not his true north. He will not follow it. He will ignore it. He will ignore the oath that he took. This is a delinquent of the Constitution in power. And I want to tell him, as I've said over and over again, mene mene tekel, it has happened. No matter what you do, no matter what you try and do, your time to rule, to govern this country is over. It is over. And the country is coming for you, not just Jimmy. We are coming for you because you are a delinquent of our laws. It is actually a shame to imagine you as a president of this great republic. You do not represent who we are our values, our true essence of Kenya, you do not. And because of that, know that your time and the time for honoring yourself is very soon coming to an end.